I'm going to assume that we did then. Uh, I've gone for Maurice to do at three. Yep. Uh, obviously, I think it just really came down to the criteria for us, considering I didn't look at his time in Europe, and you did. I think that's really the the driving factor between them. Uh, Adu was phenomenal in MLS, starting off with Toronto. Uh, he has 91 total games played. That's across his couple of seasons in Toronto. And then when he came back, he played for Philly for a couple of seasons. 90 of those games he started, which was an impressive stat for me. 90 out of 91 games started. Uh, just over 8,000 minutes played. More of, I think, a defensive midfielder. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, nine goals, six assists kind of speaks to that. He was rookie of the year, which was actually not common for number one picks. I guess maybe I shouldn't say actually. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of competition, but he's one of, I think, two number one picks that has one rookie of the year. Uh, and obviously, as we talked about before, got the jump to Europe. I believe the fee was 2.6 million pounds. And this is in 2008. That's a huge fee. You consider inflation and everything else and pounds and all the currency exchanges. In this economy, damn it. And freedom units in today's economy. <laughs> this would be like, I don't know, $8 million. <laughs> well, that's, so, a, that's, your, that's your tax. <laughs> that might be a little work. That might yeah. be a little high. <laughs> that's but, uh, a stretch. Um, but yeah, obviously that, that fee was very much uh, based on his play in MLS. So I think uh, he was easily a top three for me. The top three guys were, again, I would say a tier of their own. And uh, I, I strictly think that it when when Andrew and I differ on this one, I think it's just for the fact that I solely looked at his MLS time. I did not consider his time with Rangers when when making this selection. So, so I, I did and I didn't. And I'll get I'll get to it in a little. Um, at three, I've got Kyle Laren, only here for a few years, but the impact outside of MLS on the Canadians national team, as well as the success over tiers overseas, makes him a, a top four guy. Laren came into the league on fire for Orlando City, nabbing 18, 4, and 13 goals in his first three seasons before securing a re- relatively sketchy move overseas to Besiktas. Uh <laughs> He was the first non-homegrown player to ever be transferred out of MLS uh, and have the team retain 100% of his sale rights, which meant he literally was rule-changing for one day only. (laughs) Made 60 appearances for Canada so far with 28 goals and is a massive part of their youth movement in Canadian soccer today. Finished his MLS career with 89 appearances, 44 goals, and 8 assists. If Orlando were not absolutely dreadful when he joined them, he could have been record but instead, he left Orlando with nothing, which kept him uh, out of the top two. He did go on to earn multiple Belgian-Turkish uh, titles, showing his class at every level. 